All two cities nearly 1,200 miles apart connected as the Derek Chauvin trial continues. That, of course, happening in Minneapolis, while here in Houston, where George Floyd grew up, people are watching the testimony closely. KPRC2 reporter Brandon Walker live in Minneapolis for us. Brandon, there are signs of Floyd all over that city as the trial goes on. Hey, Dominique, signs all over the place, including here downtown outside the courtroom. You've got the police barricades. You travel about four miles south of here, though, to central Minneapolis. You'll see a completely different sign or signs also a completely different feel. We're standing together as a community. Community, says Sam Willis Jr., is why he opened Just Turkey Restaurant, where today, day eight, the lunchtime crowd watched as they died. I'm still just disappointed. Peter Everett here with his two-year-old son, Josiah. Everett is a minister. His church across the street from where George Floyd took his last breaths. I'm extra cautious with him. I love him a lot more, and, and, and you know, and I like to come over here and we just walk through the neighborhood and just kind of talk to him about being a man. A peek outside the restaurant's window is Chicago Avenue, or where it intersects with 38th Street, George Floyd Square in central Minneapolis. A memorial, a message about what happened to Floyd where it happened. Benito and Shirley Leatherwood Garrett drove five hours from Milwaukee with their children, prayed with strangers as they took it all in. And it was undeniable what happened. Yeah. Roughly four miles north downtown, that undeniability was the focus of testimony from a Los Angeles police officer and expert witness on use of force for the prosecution, telling the jury Derek Chauvin violated police policy. My opinion was that uh, no force should have been used once uh, he was in that position. The defense, however, questioned that and went further to suggest that George Floyd acknowledged drug use during the apprehension. That's what they say killed Floyd. Drugs, not Derek Chauvin's knee. Floyd family attorney Benjamin Crump. If you think it was drugs and not Derek Chauvin's knee on his neck, then why don't you get on the ground and let somebody put their knee on your neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds and see if you can survive without oxygen that long. Mr. Crump speaking within the past 30 minutes, one on one to KPRC. Court has wrapped for the day. Mr. Crump says that the defense likely will get this case Monday, if not Friday of this week. He expects things to wrap up, Dominique, as early as next week. Brandon, before we let you go, we understand that several forensic scientists also took the stand. In your eyes, what stood out there? Yeah, so we had several forensic scientists from the uh, Bureau of Criminal Apprehension, which led the investigation into what happened there. One of those forensic scientists testified that she found eight traces of Floyd's blood in the police cruiser. Another testified that two pills found in the Mercedes Mr. Floyd was in tested positive for methamphetamine and fentanyl, Dominique. Okay, Brandon, thank you for your reporting tonight.